hello and welcome to another rpa tutorial video today in this tutorial video we are going to learn about document automation so this video will give you some idea what is document automation and how we can access document automation in community edition before start please support us by subscribing this channel and if you think this video is informative please click on the like button your one like and subscribe to this channel will really help us and motivate us to create more and more video so now what is document automation so document automation is a cloud-based intelligent document processing solution provided by the automation anywhere so basically we can use document automation to extract data from semi-structure or unstructured document and the document can be in the form of PDF files or the images. So community edition uh, users can also access the document automation, which is available with some limitations. And in case if you want to use the complete access of document automation, then you have to go with the license version of a document automation, which comes along with automation anywhere license. Okay, now let me show you how you can access a document automation from community edition. So in order to access document automation, you have to log into your community edition. And here you can see this cognitive automation part. We have the options available as open document automation. So once you click here, it will open a page where you can see some options available like this the learning instances so this page will give you the list of learning instances which is already created and you can also create a new learning instance from here so i have uh, got some mail and comments from people like asking why we are not able to see this train other document option basically this train other documents option we use to create and train uh, learning instances in iq bot so the currently we are not able to access iq bot from community edition so the community edition user can only access document automation from this page so this train other document option has been removed now so only we can create the learning instances in document automation itself okay. so in order to create a new learning instance we have to click here and it will open a page like this in this page you can write down your learning instance name and here we have some other options available like the document type the languages and the provider so if you click here you can see so we have the predefined document type available which is invoice and the user defined right so it's up to you what type of document you are going to train so in community edition we have some limitations so that is the reason we are able to see only these two things but with the license version we will have some more options where we can see more number of document types like invoices purchase order bank statement etc etc and the language is also here we have op options to select like english french german or spanish and this is again a provider so uh, this is provided by the automation anywhere itself so this invoice document type is pre-trained by the automation anywhere so that is the reason it is currently showing as this so now let's click here in the next button and see what we are getting next so you can see here now as we have selected the document type as invoice so here we are getting the form field and the table field so in the form field we we can see like some fields are automatic available and it is selected also so the fields which we are seeing here is a field this may be available in your a document in case if you are using the invoices so if you work with the invoice so there must be invoice number, invoice date, PO number, CBER address and SIP2 address, something like that, right? So these are the uh, uh, field which might come to your document. So it's up to you which field you want to select. If you want to select 
something like you know the invoice number or invoice date so those things we can select from here now if you come to the table field so similarly for table field also we have some predefined fields available like the description quantity unit price so it's based on your requirement you can select whatever field you want to use okay now coming back to form field once again so let's click here in this invoice number field so this will give you some more information about this field so in this field property section we can see we have to put the field name in this case the field name is already available in case if you want to add any new field so you have to click here and you have to put the field name as let's say new field let's type this label name okay so now we can see some other informations are also available so here you can see the confidence percentage the data type right so the confidence percentage is something you can select based on your image quality or the the document dpi so by default it will be available as 80 percent but it's it's up to you so the percentage of confidence is basically help the bot to identify and extract the information from the document for the particular field so if you keep 80 percent and let's say when bot is trying to extract the data from the pdf file or the images in case if the confidence is low or if it is not 80 percent then there may be a chances uh, the bot will be not able to extract the document in case if bot is able to extract the document so it may give you a warning the percentage of confidence is lesser than 80 percent okay so it's it's depending on you like how you are putting the confidence percentage but the best practice is like you know keep between 70 to 80 percent for better results here the data type supported by document automation is like text number date and address so like iqbot we have the options to like you know use the regular expression and also this the two options are available the field type which you are using in your document you want to keep as required or optional right and in the uh, bottom you can see the aliases option so if you want to add some aliases so that can be also done so if you want to see some aliases for this invoice number we can see there may be uh, uh, the field name uh, may be different like you know the invoice number invoice number colon inv hash something like that right so in case if you think some new uh, name is available in your document so you can just put it like you know let's say invoice number and if you let's say submit so it will add to your list and it is available here so by default here you can see all the aliases is available and if you want to add anything new you can add it from here so in this section we have some other options also available like the field rules and the document rules so in our next video we will upload some document and we will try to train or we will understand how we can upload a document or we can train the learning instances we will see those things in next video in details for this video i have just tried to give you the overview how we can access the document automation and what are the properties or informations available with high level information so i hope this video is helpful and Let's understand more about uh, document automation in our next video. Thank you.